Welcome to my channel Inspiring Brains. This is Hari, completed physiotherapy, currently doing medicine and a part-time biology faculty. So this is part 2 of this video. So the part 1 I covered the class 11 topics. In this part 2 I will be going with class 12 topics along with slab 1 and slab 2 classification. So first I am going with inorganic. So you got P block elements part 2. D and F, D and F block elements, general principle and process of isolation of elements and you got coordination compounds. So now going with physical, physical chemistry. So you got solid state, solutions, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics and finally surface chemistry. So percentage of allotment, so already P block, so 11th and 12th, so 11th and 12th combinedly it will form 7 percentage, then D and F it is 4 percentage, this is 4 again and this is 6 percentage, now going with solid state it is 3 percentage, solution 4, this is 3 percentage, this is 4 percentage and this is 2 percentage. So going with inorganic first, see first is p-block as I said before if you know the things before itself basic salam theorem of now you can arrange them in the order of atomic radii or size that will be p-block it's quite a big unit then you can go with d and f of course it is easy as compared other other it is like s-block elements general principle and isolation which is a metallurgy unit a magnetic separation ores and all it's a direct question and if you have time you can put it Coordination compounds, it's again, it's a continuation of chemical bonding. So already it has more percentage, right? Chemical bonding, the part when we have seen. Same way, coordination compounds carries maximum. So you should not leave this unit, right? Physical, so solid state, it's easy. Uh, phase center, body center, efficiency, these will be the questions. Solutions, it has many formulas. So already if you started, uh, you can study the solution but if you are fresher and you are going to start just by now then uh, this you can do uh, this you can go with the last last flitch electrochemistry the cells nervous equation gives free energy chemical kinetics as we saw already it's first order second order and then you got various graphs finally surface chemistry it's more or less uh, direct questions an absorption catalyst it will be a direct question so this is all about inorganic and physical chemistry. So now going with organic, organic chemistry. So first lesson is haloalkenes and haloarenes. Second, alcohol, phenol ether. Third, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acid. Fourth, amines. Fifth is polymers. Biomolecules, chemistry in everyday, chemistry in everyday life. So going with percentages. So alloalkanes it's two percentage. This will be four, three, and then three percentage. Polymers is two. Biomolecules four. In chemistry in everyday life it's three percentage again. So, other than this, you got some other thing to be known. Separately, they are giving more preference to IUPAC and isomerism for 4 percentage. And this may come in any unit, any IUPAC name, any isomerism. And next is aromatic hormones. There is special preference to this aromatic hormones for 6 percentage. See, what are the things? It's halorange, it's aromatic. Phenol, aromatic, like this. So they are giving special preference to aromatic hormones which is 6 percentage. So first is organic, haloalkanes and haloarenes. It's about an easier unit but it is just 2 percentage so you can give a last preference to it. Next is alcohol, phenol and ether. Of course it's an important unit and you got some basics. So just start to study this, it's 4 percentage. Aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acid, again you can study. Amines, it's ONC, organic nitrogen compounds. This you can relate and study on polymers direct questions and it is more or less a theoretical based It will be direct questions. There is no indirect way in polymers. So you can go easily with the polymers 
biomolecules of course uh, already we have one biomolecules in biology also right so it is more of chemistry and this carries four percentage so don't lose this because you can correlate and study in an easier way next last is chemistry in everyday life of course it's very easy it's theoretical in it anyone can study at any point of time and they are special uh, give a special reference to IUPAC name and isomerism you should know the basics from the general organic chemistry itself and then aromatic hormones all the aromatic hormones in the chemistry of NGRT is given a special preference hence it separately carry a six percentage marks right so already they can ask you in any unit but they are giving more preference to the aromatic compounds so now i am classifying it as slab 1 and slab 2 so slab 1 is relatively easy you can easily cover the portions slab 2 you need basics and once you cover the slab 1 you can go with slab 2 so slab 1 d and f block elements as i said p block in the last video itself next go with coordination as it carries maximum mark so either you have to finish the chemical bonding and coordination so this is all about inorganic and when, when it comes to physical go with solid state easiest unit then you can uh, go with chemical kinetics then you can go with surface chemistry this you can cover it in one shot physical now finally go with organic I'll tell you the easiest chapters of organic that you don't need any basics polymers then um, biomolecules chemistry in everyday life as you can study in one shot that you can start at any point of time so organic this is these are all slab one chapters which are given very easily so you can start at any point of time and you can finish it off so once you finish it off even freshers can follow and also repeaters once you finished off and you, if you have the time then next we have to go with slab 2 chapters so now going with slab 2 chapters so general principles and process of isolation of elements spells and isolation of elements and if you don't study p block at least put in this slab 2 once you're done with this uh, then you can go with solutions then you can go with electrochemistry so this is inorganic and this is physical and once you're done with that you can go with haloalkenes and haloarenes it's very easy after that alcohols phenols ether then aldehyde ketones carboxylic acid and then you can go with amines so this is all about organic so the entire video i have covered all the class 11 and class 12 topics of chemistry in the part 1 and part 2 so all you have to do is just follow slab 1 even if you are a fresher or a repeater once you finish with this because it has uh, it consumes less time and more marks once you're done with it, you can go to slab 2 where you can maximize your marks. And there are some various chapters like polymers, biomolecules, chemistry in everyday life, uh, solid state, structure of atom, periodicity, surface chemistry. These are all environmental chemistry. These are all very easiest chapters. So don't leave those chapters. Even if you are a fresher and even if you are starting by now, just study these chapters to at least uh, maximize your score in chemistry. So don't leave those important and easiest chapters. Thanks for watching.